taken on its own terms, Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag is an abject disappointment by any rational criteria, and proof positive that Ubisoft learned less than nothing from their Revolutionary War era teething difficulties. And further, given the bafflingly the worst game in the series inexplicably wound up setting sales records from here to Neptune, it's hard to find fault with their analysis of basic economic cause and effect. If the Beatles recorded a jazz record that outsold their other albums fivefold, you can be damn sure they'd release another fucking jazz album. It's capitalism, I understand, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. What I don't understand is Ubisoft's failure to correct basic problems that even the game's proponents acknowledge. Even the most in-the-bag, stamp a barcode on my forehead and assign me a name with a decimal point in it, bought the fuck out professional reviewers, seem to echo my criticism that if the third Assassin's Creed's introductory sequence were any longer, Ron Jeremy would be sliding it down the throat of an underage Tracy Lords. Four hours in, and your screen is still weathering an unyielding bombardment of insightful tutorial snippets like hold forward to move forward and move the right stick to reposition the fucking camera. Yeah, and the cow says moo. Start the fucking game already. The cow goes, Shazoo! It most certainly does not. Shazoo! This ain't even a game at this point. You shoot this fucking thing in sepia and it'd be a Ken Burns documentary. The ability to rate the quality of each individual chapter of the game is a welcome privilege, even if we all know damn well those suggestion cards are more likely to be lining Jade Raymond's parakeet cage than taking up any space on Yves Guimond's conference table. In any event, I can only speculate as to the unique facial expression Rorschach of shock, dismay, and disappointment in the human race that dawned the faceplate of Ubisoft feedback drome number 3301 when Razor Fist feedback slip wormed its way beneath the proverbial door frame. That shit had more zeros than 4chan's user base. <coughs> Though I'd hurry to point out that I didn't hate Black Flag right off the bat. In fact, when the game initially kicked off with the series' trademark parkour cum stabby stab formula, I found myself teetering on the verge of a grudging recommendation. And then Johnny Depp, Orlando Bloom, and Kira Knightley swung in on a chandelier in easily the most boring, procedural, incomprehensibly repetitive piracy sim in the history of gaming, staggered through the doorway, fully nude in a rum cake induced stupor. I realize playing a game about pirates, then complaining when pirates show up, is like eating shit and complaining about the smell, but I didn't play a game about pirates, I played a game about assassins, so where the fuck are they? And even if you were making a game about pirates, which you fucking aren't, making a pirate game and then devoting half the Peter North and length to blithering tedium like repairing your ship and recruiting your faceless crew is like making a first person shooter and then spending half the game watching the fucking guns be manufactured. This game sucks! And can we possibly make combat any easier, Chief? I think I may have actually had to burn 1 16th of a calorie to pressing the B button within the prohibitively brief time window of five entire hours to instantly counter and eviscerate literally any enemy in the game. I defy you to die even once outside of ship combat while playing Assassin's Creed 4. It cannot be done. The game's central flaw, the proverbial flaw from which all other flaws flow, alliteration, is that Ubisoft Montreal are about 50 times more interested in playing a pirate game than any of their fucking audiences, even going so far as to antagonize Assassin's Creed's fans in interviews for daring to suggest the series finally set a game in feudal Japan, or a locale that makes infinitely more sense than this failed foray into masturbatory maritime mayhem. See also, literally anywhere! It appears that the crux of their operative logic stems from a belief that, while skeptical at first, fans would eventually be won over by the fact that capturing, recruiting, or sinking enemy vessels is innately fun, and they're almost right. Disabling and boarding enemy ships is fun. About 10 fucking times, which is roughly 590 times fewer than you will be forced to engage in the ceaseless monotony of the course of Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. And just what is it about Montreal that compels their game developer residents to reference and repeatedly glorify Montreal? You don't see Obsidian setting all their games in fucking Irvine, California, even though culturally speaking, California is about 17,000 times more relevant to a given socio political event than goddamn Montreal. Look, I'm a Francophile myself, and a shameless one at that, but shit, let's be real here. On its best possible day, Montreal is Paris for hipsters. And without your borderline illegal tax incentives undercutting every other city in the world thanks to WTO incompetence, you wouldn't even be that! So let's stop pretending, for example, that Montreal should have been in any way relevant to the global conspiracy of Deus Ex Human Revolution. Shall we, Eidos Montreal? What the shit were the Illuminati after in Quebec anyways? A renewable source of alcoholism and bad manners? Abstergo being centered in Montreal is like General Electric being headquartered in Twiddle your 
protestees in North Carolina, so fucking cool it with a self-glorification. Or better yet, redirect that creative energy into writing a story where the entire Assassins vs. Templars subplot doesn't feel 100% crammed the fuck into a piracy story that was never once supposed to have anything to do with it. Gentlemen, brandish your shoehorns because Al Bundy couldn't make this shit fit in Assassin's Creed. And it's almost as if Ubisoft knew it too because they seem far more interested in resigning Edward Kenway to menial bitch work and repetitive shipboarding than even peripherally tying this character in with the main plot. But this don't sit right. I feel like I'm running errands, not living my life. With Assassin's Creed 4, Ubisoft Montreal attempted to marry the two disparate genres of stealth and piracy and wound up monumentally failing at both in the process. Your stealth game sucks because every stealth game with checkpoints sucks. Every single one! And after Splinter Cell Blacklist sold five copies worldwide with the same exact save system, you should have fucking known better. And your pirate game sucks because it's ham-fisted and repetitive and you spent all of a fucking year to make the goddamn thing. Of course it sucks. Let's hope to alien precursor Christ that Ubisoft Montreal didn't lose Patrice Desilets' number because this series needs that man and it needs him stat. Assassin's Creed 3 may have set sales records, but this game sure as shit didn't. And the deeper you wade into these waters with maritime spinoffs, the angrier the seas fucking get. Time for a course correction. I'm Razor Fist. God fucking speed. <laughs> This is a massive world. There's a lot to find and do in this Caribbean Sea. My goodness, the West Indies is a compact place. 